Hello friends, uh, welcome to Travels Unravel. Today we'll be doing an unboxing video and uh, we're going to unbox uh, the Bosch Aquatec 125. That's 1500 watt high pressure washer which can wash floor surface, vehicles and uh, also just for general uh, watering the plants. So let's focus on uh, unboxing right now and uh, this is ordered from Amazon as we can see and it's come well packed. Inside Amazon box, while it showed, this is the top. We can see the wash machine is kept sideways, which means actually uh, the box has got wrong description of the top section. So here, there's a lot of packaging at the side. It's a slightly bigger box of Amazon, and uh, seems like Bosch has already opened it for testing or whatever because they put the regular BOPP tape here. So here goes, let's open this. And what do I tell you? <laughs> There's another box. So this is like box, in box, in box. And now the joke is, this is also placed sideways. So what do you see this as top? It's actually sideways here. So opening okay, the box. Now comes the third box. And let's open this. I'm not sure where we open this from because okay, so I got it. As I was hoping that there's no other box, we can see that uh, now we finally reach the high pressure washer. We've got some accessories here and we can see there's a filter here and there's a click on uh, connector here and uh, this is the, this is put on the gun. These allows for the sprays, different kind of sprays, water jets to come out. So yeah, so we are nearly there, let's keep this aside for now and uh, there is a 5 meter cable that comes here, this is for the outlet and uh, this is the extension for the gun and uh, it is placed pretty well, oh we can see the foam, foam bottle as well, so this is the car shampoo foam washer but since we read a lot of reviews that this one along with this is really not that efficient because it doesn't give you a thick foam layer when you do the foam wash. So we were advised to buy another one and uh, so we got one with some reviews and uh, we will open that and show you. So guys this is recommended. Uh, more than the Bosch foam solution container. Uh, here I just read this also ordered from Amazon as you can see. And uh, this is VMTC accessories. And uh, from here we have taken this one which is uh, meant to and, and it's manufactured in Gurugram that's in India. And this costs about uh, 1000, just a little over 1000. So we'll be unboxing this as well to show you. Very complicated packaging. I don't know where to open it from. There's tape and tape and tape all over.
here it goes. This is how it looks. So it's got a nozzle on top for the foam wash and the bottle is about 700 ml. And uh, this one looks pretty small. I think it's about 300 ml. Yeah, this 300 ml. So look at the size difference as well. So, yes, so let's take the main equipment out. And we can see it's a nice compact uh, roll on model. And uh, it also has a wire extension, very nice. Uh, nicely placed. Uh, yes, and this is the manual. So you can see the Bosch has given a manual. Recommend that you read the manual before using, uh, unless uh, you can use another method, which is do YouTube checks. So you can see here is where we have the jet gun, and uh, pretty nice. It's got a lock, 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 locking mechanism at the bottom. So if you press that, it doesn't move. And then you press this back, so it's operational only if you use this. And it's got a nice storage place here. You've got to press this and then place it exactly here and it gets locked in place. Pretty nice. And uh, this is the handle which uh, you've got to press and then open. So you just have to put this up and it self locks. So you can see that you can just move this around very conveniently. And uh, in order for you to push this back, you've got to press this and then drop it down. Just let it be here. Now this is a nice arrangement. So you can actually put your wire here around this. So you can see that the arrangement is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, yes, and uh, one important thing is to know here is where the on off switches. So, so as we saw, the gun sits here very uh, snugly, and uh, you have the uh, cable which you connect to a 15 amp socket, uh, which is again about 5 meters. And uh, this is where the handlebar goes up and gets locked, so you don't have to do anything in order for you to, you know. Drop it down again, you just have to press these two and uh, you can see the on off switch is right at the front here and uh, this is the outlet for, yeah this is the outlet uh, pipe to be connected and uh, you also need an inlet that goes into this. So we will be setting it up shortly and then showing you practically how to wash, so stay with us. This is how we connect the water inlet pipe to this adapter and first you have to put this ring uh, inside the pipe and then put the other end of the pipe within the exact spot here see you can see here you have uh, you know where the, the exact connection where you can put this pipe and once you put and then you thread this up so the pipe remains fixed and intact in place okay. and the other end can be put in the bucket now this Aquatech Bosch Aquatech 125 uh, 1500 watt high pressure washer is a self priming one that means it can draw water from a bucket or you can connect the pipe directly to a tap source as well so you know it, it's got both both these facilities let's show you a walk around of the vehicle this is a Tata Hexa you can see it's quite uh, clean except certain spots uh, where this side step is etc that is a little dirty uh, you can see a little bit of dirt here and cats generally climb on this car and it's just below a custard apple tree so you can see the amount of the ripened custard apples that have fallen have created some amount of dirt and uh, 
look closely there's a lot of fine dust on the car and we can see some bees also that have come and you can see the dirt around the wheel arches we will show you once now and again once the cleaning process starts and once the cleaning is complete you can see on top as well uh, the regular guy who comes to clean has not been maintaining it well uh, in fact there are permanent marks that are formed on top because he doesn't go up there and uh, so the car is decent enough in some ways clean at some spots but really dirty at other so here is where the Bosch Aquatec 125 uh, is connected as you can see and uh, what we have done is we have connected uh, the inlet pipe one end of the pipe is in the bucket and uh, you can see the other end is connected here like we showed you some time ago so and uh, we've given the electrical connection uh, from inside so it's coming from there and uh, you can see at the back we've connected the outlet yeah so the gun is right here kept on this bucket and uh, so we're going to start it now so what we need to do first is before we begin washing we need to put this on, on mode so when it comes on uh, when it comes on, it first takes in the required water and then it has to stop automatically. Once it stops, then you know that the self-priming is working and everything is fine. So welcome back friends and uh, just want to show you that the power connection has been done from the 15 amp socket. Here you can see it's connected to the back and uh, the gun is here and uh, what we've done is we've kept the bucket slightly at a height so that the self priming uh, takes place self priming is nothing but the uh, motor from the Bosch 125 sucks the water from the pipe uh, from this bucket so that's why we've placed it in such a way that the pipe is at an angle and uh, now we will we will try spraying through the gun and here it starts as you can see, the self-priming is working. We filled the pipe first with water, with sufficient water, and then started. So you can see the force of the water is pretty decent. The suction power, I think, is about 0.5 liters per minute uh, for self-priming. So keep that in mind. You have to keep it at a height. Without keeping it at a height, uh, especially the bucket of water, the self-priming will not work. A lot of people have tried and not succeeded. So you can see how nicely the spray is coming out. The gun has three elements for the spray. Uh, try and use the broad nozzle one so that the diffusion of water is not very harsh on the paint surface. For the other areas like tires, you need to use the sharper straight line mode of water from the gun. So keep that in mind and you can see how how good the spray is. It's able to give water supply right through. So now we will turn the car because uh, what we need, what we actually needed was an extension of the outlet pipe. Uh, so we recommend that you take an extension of the outlet pipe as well. Then only this works well. So very shortly we'll be using the foaming to show you how the foaming happens. As we can see, uh, the nozzle of this uh, foam uh, spray uh, is is more like a, like two lips meeting. So you can keep adjusting this uh, depending on what is the width you want. So you can see this. You know when you turn this, you can see it's widening, so it'll give a broader one. But what we need is a good foam spray. So we'll keep it narrow. We've not used any 3M foam, which is recommended, but we're just trying with the regular car shampoo. Let's see how it works and we'll give you feedback. Then we'll do one with uh, the 3M uh, foam as well. So here it goes. It's a little thin, but uh, you can see. But finally, it's a shampoo. It's the quality of shampoo that matters. 
uh, you can see pretty good spray uh, some people prefer the you know thicker foam spray but i think uh, finally it's the quality of the of the shampoo that matters so you can see that pretty good today doing the demonstration is ruben who is very fond of cars he is also fond of detailing so you can see that uh, he has done a good shampoo spray now we'll just rub the shampoo a little bit using a filament cloth a microfilm microfilm cloth so we'll show you that as well because a little bit of light rubbing is needed so that the dirt and grime from the surface of the paint is removed so as you can see a microfilm cloth has been used which is very soft on the paint but at the same time it does a good job in cleaning all the dirt and grime uh, and the shampoo is quite effective you can see i can actually see the white shampoo is turned brown even in the sections where it has not yet been cleaned you can see that so we'll clean half of this side of the car and then turn the car around and clean the other half because as i mentioned the pipe on the outward on the extension the gun on the outlet side okay is uh, is the original one given by bosch which is quite short it's 5 meters and for a big car like the hexa one needs to probably have something like minimum uh, 12 meters so we'll have to eventually buy an extension outlet uh, pipe for the bosch bosch 125 You can see how dirty the car was and now you can see that it's undergoing a cleaning process. What we also feel is that two people are needed to actually handle this process for some time till one person gets acclimatized and uh, get some experience of doing it single-handedly. So now we will switch over to clean this half yeah so we have loaded the spray gun again with the regular water spray and now you can see the cleaning process you can see all the dirt layer is off and now with the force of water you can see the car is shining as though it's a professional wash pretty decent uh, wash 125 high pressure washer is this is our first hand experience as you can see how beautifully it's cleaning we have to refill the bucket uh, we've got another bucket so i think for a big car about 2 and a half for three three bucket full of water will go because we've just actually done only this half now we still have uh, the other half of the car to to wash I'm sorry, my voice is sounding a little strained because uh, the compressor from or the motor from the Bosch 125 does make quite a bit of noise, and then we have the noise of the water jet spray as well. So I've literally got to talk in a very loud voice and a high tone. So you can see the car is getting its cleaning session now, looking pretty nice. The top section is being cleaned. All the dirt is getting pushed off see? with the soap water. Pretty nice. And now we'll turn the car around and uh, do the other half as well. This is a straight line jet. You can see how powerful it is. It's actually taking off a lot of dirt. You can see at the bottom. Everything. in the wheel arch area in the mud guard area is being cleaned thoroughly you can see the amount of dirt that coming out see the amount of dirt that's coming out this is a straight line jet really effective better than uh, somebody doing a 
regular hand wash of the car you can see the amount of dirt that's coming out unbelievable you can't imagine the amount of dirt that the car picks up in everyday driving there as you can see now we've turned the car around and uh, it's just because the outlet pipe water pipe the outlet pipe is not long enough to reach all sides of the car so we recommend that while buying the Bosch 125 1500 watt high pressure washer make sure you take the extension pipe for the outlet so that you don't have to turn the car around and go through all these extra efforts and now we will need a refill we can see the water level going low we will need a refill now but we just wet the car do the shampoo and uh, fill the bucket again it's a pretty quick process once you know what to do uh, till you understand the mechanisms of how this works and get to using it couple of times once you do that and you've got experience then it's a very very quick process now the other half gets the foam spray you can see we've used a regular car shampoo not the 3m foam but some of you may prefer a thicker lather of foam then in that case you can use the 3m car foam wash but otherwise the regular shampoo is good enough you can see the amount of uh, dirt that gets washed off you can see the white is turning to brown look carefully see so the shampoo itself does half the job and then with the microfilm cloth the cleaning becomes even easier after the hexa we'll be cleaning the tigor and then we will also be cleaning the yamaha fzs bike i hope we can show you all of these uh, snippets of all of these in in this video so as you can see we are spraying a little bit of the car shampoo uh, on the microfilm cloth microfilter cloth whatever and then see the cleaning process just look at the dirt and grime that's coming off i'm trying to focus and show you so you'll understand how much dirt is coming off and then we'll show you the car once it's completely washed and clean and dried So any of you living in Mumbai and want to have the car washed free using the Bosch 125 uh, and the and the car shampoo we will do that free for you uh, the first one to message us on the on this uh, video description comment box uh, will be the one who we will select and we'll probably make a video of that person's car wash happening as well Please make sure that the micro filter cloth that you use is clean because if that has dust or small particles it will end up scratching the paint or the glass of your vehicle so make sure this is this cloth is absolutely clean and uh, it's not multiple reused and the fibers are not harsh enough so now comes the final wash you can see how it's happening pretty clean the paint surface is intact uh, getting a good wash of caution always start from the top uh, because if you do the sides and bottom and then go to the top your car will get dirty all over again so it's better to clean from the top this is uh, my observation clean from the top first others you clean down and then all that will come back down right
also another caution another word of advice don't use the motor continuously uh, you can use it for 10 minutes at a stretch and then uh, give it a short 1 minute break otherwise you will get smell of uh, the motor winding or the coil burning i'm not sure uh, how healthy it is for the motor and eventually for your efficiency of high pressure washer the wheel arch is now being cleaned you can see the mud guards and with a high pressure washer you can see the amount of dirt that's coming out all the mud all the grease that stuck onto the side is actually coming off there's a seed that's stuck here in this it's stuck really badly i don't think even the water pressure is enough to take it off but you can see the dirt that's coming off from the side step look at the dirt you won't believe the amount of dirt the mud that's coming out and the car looks clean just needs to be wiped you can see how clean neat it looks and we can see the car is getting its wiping session and uh, just a little moisture that's left on the car is getting wiped off and the car is sparkling now so you don't really need to rub too much just a light rub to clean off the moisture is required you can see the car is looking new all over again just with a simple wash shampoo and wipe something that really stands out in a hexa are the tail lights in fact i notice that the hyundai alcaza has also got similar designed tail lights now looks very nice it gives it like an unending effect pretty decent So you can see the car is sparkling clean all over again. Thank you for watching our video. Travels and Ravel requests you to please subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for repeated reminders and don't forget to subscribe and like our video. It's it's your subscription that helps us go ahead. So please feel free all it takes is a click of a button and that's it subscribe like and press the bell icon for future reminders thank you very much for travels and travel this is Harold Fernandez signing off and the hero for the evening washing this car is Ruben Fernandez thank you and through the same process that we followed for the hexa we have done the cleaning of the tigor and we will also put a little shampoo on the yamaha fzs so you can see the shampoo has trickled down to the bottom uh, so yeah just a little bit of wash is left for this now you have to be careful not to wet the seat and certain components but other than that you can see it's quite it's it, the dirt is coming off from the bike and here you can see on the one hand the tigor is shining clean and 
and then it's the turn of the bike and then we'll wrap up this video and the FZS has also got a clean up using the Bosch 125 1500 watt high pressure washer you can see it's pretty clean now And we've used up like three buckets for the hexa, about two buckets for the Tigor and half a bucket for the Yamaha bike. So pretty good, huh? In about five buckets, two cars, one bike, cleaning through so the entire process of water, shampoo, water, drying. And then you have three clean vehicles. The Hexa, the Tigor here and the Yamaha.